Okay. Hey guys. Hey guys. <laughs> Ace here again. It's been a really long time. Um, I'm sorry for that. It's been a really, really busy year. It's been a busy year for me and for Fitch Me Broken. So I have news. I have lots of news. Um, Fitch Me Broken has been doing a couple of shows here and there. They, you know, play at the Roxy. It's kind of like their home place. They played at a couple of other shows. All places on the West Coast that I haven't been able to attend, to attend but it's fine. Um, hopefully I'll be seeing them soon. Um, biggest and most important news is that they're back in the studio. Um, they're back in the studio. I'm really excited about that. Um, the n they just a little while ago they released their uh, the name of the new album. It's going to be called Corrupt Me. I think I've been tagging everything I type now Corrupt Me on Twitter, and it's like going to the store or hashtag Corrupt Me. Um, I'm really excited about this album. So it's. I think that's a great title. I like it. Um, it's creative. It's very Brooklyn. It's very Pitch Me Broken. I love it. Um, one of the songs that I think is going to be on the new album is called Walls of White. It's it's a f eh. They've uploaded the song. I've heard it on YouTube. I've heard the f it in its full length. It is a great song. Lyrically, the band has grown so much. Musically, they've grown so much. The sound is the same but better. <laughs> um, you know, I definitely want to say they've changed, but they haven't changed in the sense of stylistically or, you know, originality. Nothing of that has been compromised or sacrificed. It's just better. Um, there is Brooklyn's put on her YouTube, and if you're not subscribed to her channel, you should be Layla Brooklyn Allman. You get so much information from her. Um, they released, she released a preview um, for this new song called Beautiful Disguise. She also released a video of them recording it. Um, it's amazing. It's really, really pretty. It's a ballad. I love when you can just hear her sing because, I mean, she's so, she, vocally, she's so powerful and so talented. And, you know, it's not something some, it's not something you see every day. She's just got this out. Um, there's also another preview called Dependency on the band's YouTube. Just a preview. I wish it was the full song, but it's only a preview. It's great. Lyrically, I feel like this is arguably my favorite song. Like, I feel like it's just, it's here. Um, Pitchery Broken's always been very poetic with their words, and this album... None of that has been lost, I can already tell. None of that's been lost. Um, I always try my best to bother Brooklyn, whether it be on Twitter or Form Spring, Facebook, Tumblr. And so I was doing my usual bothering, Hey Brooklyn! So I went, Hey Brooklyn! Is your band doing work tour? And she goes, Hey Phillips P and B! No we're not. <laughs> um Warp Tour's not really their scene anymore, which is I'm fine with. I already have I'm going to Warp Tour this year like I go every year, and there's already so many bands I want to see this year. Like, if you know Warp Tour, you're running from stage to stage to stage trying to see people you want to see. And so I have to say I'm almost glad they're not going to be on Warp Tour because I just don't need any more bands to see. Um, but they're not doing Warp Tour, but they are doing a tour. I doubt they're going to be headlining. If they can pull off a headlining tour, that'd be beautiful. But I feel like that's not going to happen. I feel like they're not big enough yet to carry their own tour or probably with someone else. However it goes, if they come to New York, to New Jersey, to anywhere near me, I am catching a bus, a train, something, and I'm going to see them. I have to see this new stuff live. Um, like I was saying before, if you want these previews, they're on Layla Brooklyn's Twitter. They're on the Pitch Me Broken Twitter. Oh my god, Twitter. YouTube. They're on their YouTube channels, not on their Twitters. Um, so if you haven't seen them, the best thing you can do is subscribe and they will tell you when these things come up. I get little emails and it's like, oh, yeah, the Brooklyn Alman uploaded a new video. And I'm like, oh, really? And I click it and it's like, beautiful disguise preview. And I'm like, so there's that. And of course, if you are watching this video, you just better be subscribed to this channel. You should be following us on Twitter. You should be following us on Tumblr. Because 
we're cool and we love to be broken. Um, which reminds me, we love Pitch Me Broken, and so I've been trying to think about some ways that, um, we can kind of, you know, I, I, don't, I feel like this fan base isn't connected, we're all really scattered, we're here, we're there, we're all kind of tweeting about PMB, but we're all not solidified, and I feel like a lot of that, I think that's a lot of the reason why Pitch Me Broken can't do as much, because they can't tell the demand is out there, but I know it is. And so, um, if you guys would be awesome enough to take some pictures saying, I love PNB, we love PNB, Philly loves PNB, New York loves PNB, New Jersey loves PNB, wherever you are and you love Pitch Me Broken, make some signs, make some typography, um, just send me a tweet at, you know, at Philly loves PNB. That's not my Twitter name. At PNB Phila ST because we are the PNB Phila Street Team. I'm so out of it right now. Or if you can send me a message on our Tumblr at Philly Loves PNB, any of those things, just so you know, we can kind of, you know, make ourselves like a little cohesive little group, guys, because we're part of the Pitch Me Broken Empire. So, you know, studio, corrupt me, check out the previews, beautiful disguise, dependency, no warp tour, doing a tour, it's all great, we all love Pitch Me Broken, ace out.